Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. It is also football day. Let's go Buckeyes. I also have COVID or something. I don't know. Questionable, but so sorry for the voice and the nose. Mm. But I have coffee and that makes everything <coughs> better. I have an exciting Dollar Tree haul for you and I cannot wait to share all the new Christmas finds and other things that I have found. Um, so let's get into it. First and foremost, can we check out this mug? I need like 50 more of them, but I've only found one. So I'll be on the hunt. I am collecting, this one's for me, but I'm collecting glass mu the mugs, just different ones for my team for Christmas. I'm going to put Actually, not Christmas, for the holidays. Like, I think December 1st, I'm going to bring these after Thanksgiving weekend. And we're going to put some hot chocolate and candy canes and stuff for everybody to have to get off the Christmas season. So, I have some more mugs down here. Now, some of this stuff may not be new, but it's new at my Dollar Tree. How about that? Look at these ornaments. I'm dying. Like these are adorable. And I will tell you, I was just at Walmart and these rival the Walmart ones, which are twice as expensive. But they're gift, they're ornaments, but honestly, they're gift tags too. You just take a Sharpie or put a sticker on the back and now you've got a super cute personalized gift tag with, you know, some little extra. And I think always the wrapping is part of the fun oh there's my pillow that stays up year round because you know i have the black cats these i may have bought these last year i can't remember these little ornaments but they're gnomes and they're adorable and i love them um they had them in some plaid and different hats but honestly i just love the simplicity and kind of classy classiness here I think yeah there that's the head I thought that was the ball for the top of the hat but no that's his little face so I grabbed these I don't need too much Christmas decorations because I have plenty so I didn't you know get a whole ton of stuff I think these are not new but I needed them because they are the vintage it's a activity book but if we're all being truthful I bought it for the stickers for the vintage Christmas stickers that are in here. But you get a little scene that you can put your stickers on. These are so fun, like stocking stuffers, green kids coming over. You get lots of pages, then you get some coloring pages. And then in the back, you get a couple more things, a couple more sheets of the stickers. And I am obsessed. So that's what I got these for. And then I think, oh yeah, you can cut this out and make like a little stand up. I love it. And it's just the vintage Rudolph, but for me, this is planner stickers. Um, hello, we're gonna do our thumbnail with this. That's a good thumbnail. Gingerbread houses, people. Gingerbread houses for $1.25. Now, what is in here, you ask? Let's open it and see. I got three, one for me and my niece, but I gave one already to my cousin for her daughter. So it's just the small gingerbread house, right? Nothing large, a small house. There must be a roof in here or something. Maybe not. Oh, I think you snap them apart. Okay, yeah, you gotta snap them apart. And I'm gonna hot glue these together because nobody's eating these things. Yeah, you snap them apart. And then you also get the royal icing and then a little bit of candy. But honestly, for $1.25, the little house is worth it. And then you can just get some extra candies and this should be plenty of frosting. So I say this is perfect for a little bit of pre-Christmas celebration. Not just with the littles. I mean, honestly, these are great for $1.25. Think classroom, church. If you do church and you have like Sunday school, you could do these with. This takes away, takes over as far as I'm concerned for the gingerbread. You know, I'm not the gingerbread, the graham cracker houses that you build. 
I would 100% use hot glue on those. I'm just throwing that out there. Um, I got a couple things from the plus section, but this hat is not. This is adorable for summertime. It's a nice quality too. It's cotton. It's not that like rip stop or that stuff that like recycled bags are made out of. <coughs> Sorry. I'm going to be doing that. These are nice hats. The brand is Infinity Hardware and this is a lady's baseball cap and look at the adorable inside. I just think this is perfect for summer. I wear these a lot in the summer, especially if I want to be near water or outside a lot just to protect my face. And for $1.25, I'm all about that life. Um, let's see. Ooh, okay. I got this in the plus section. This was $3 and I mean, by itself, it is amazing, but I think I might paint it black and put like gold on the antlers and maybe some red on the nose and kind of elevate it a little bit to go with my decor. Um, I'm just trying to go maybe not quite as rustic this year. We'll see. I'm not putting up my large tree. I bought a tree to go in my front window. So I'm thinking this would be fun. Um, yeah. And then just do like maybe gold Mod Podge or gold glitter on the antlers and paint it all black or something. I don't know. But this I love. They had it in snowflakes as well. And then they, they're just on pegs. You know, they're just on dowel rods. You can also turn it around and paint it or however you like. It's a blank slate as far as I'm concerned. So I grabbed that. And then for my work decoration, I got this garland. Although these little bits of snow... I mean, this is going to need a good shake before I take it into the office and then a good vacuum when I take it down. But ooh. Um, I have an end desk, so we're going to put it on the wood because that's how we roll it, my, my employer. I got the Polar Cinnamon Sticks are out. I feel like there's less in a pack this year, but like everything, prices are going up, quantities are going down. Um, but the reason I actually bought these specifically, and I will show you, I think this is the one, but besides the fact that it's amazing and it's cinnamon, I crocheted, I'll probably end up breaking it, yeah. I crocheted, just gonna snap it, not quite in half, and then, yeah. Um, pumpkins and they needed a stem so I got cinnamon sticks for my pumpkin stem and this is just literally a single single crochet and I made a long sheet and then I stitched it together at the bottom and top and I left a hole I'm not even gluing this in it just sits in here right and then for storage I'll take it out but I have a three set over here different colors out for Halloween. This is great in coffee and tea. If you make a simmer pot with cinnamon and orange and clove, I'm sorry, the football is playing. The back eyes are on. It's all the things. All right, and to wrap my mugs in for my coworkers, I'm using these bags with the gnomes because I figure it's just winter. Like it's just a winter thing, right? So I grab these bags, you put the cup down inside the bag and then fill it up and tie it off. And that'll be welcome to winter, friends. And I'm gonna get, like I said, um, hot cocoa. Ugh, I have cups over here. Guys, my life is a disaster, I feel like, these days. Um, I got this mug here. This mug says, home sweet gnome. I'm gonna tell you what I love. The handle, it's just the detail this season that I'm finding with the new Dollar Tree products. The red handle, they put the logo on both sides. Everything is spelled appropriately and it's centered. I mean, these little details really make a difference. So I grabbed, I don't know how many of these I have. I've just been, excuse me, been grabbing variety of mugs when I see them, but I do need to do a count because I should have, I think 10 or 14 I need. Okay, and then I got 
Um, nice until proven naughty. That will definitely be for a couple of my male co-workers and again it's on both sides the handle is colored i mean it's just that little bit of detail the mug itself is going to function like a mug but it definitely looks nicer so i grabbed two of those i really need to count before i purchase any more mugs which there may be some more in here i don't know we shall see okay oh yeah there is more mugs because i just grabbed two more um these i think are the same yes I have a couple on my team. Happy paw days. I have definitely two people that have dogs. So happy paw day. I think that is fantastic. And these, again, it's all the good details. I got two of those. So right now I have one, two, three, four, five here. So I think I'm good. Questionable. Um, just for holiday decorating and crafting, I don't know. I know I have bigger brushes, but brush trees, I don't know about this size. So I just grabbed one more package to have um, for doing some crafting and decorating. I'm making, well, I'll show you. I got this size wreath, which is the 15 inch. And I actually got two of them because they are kind of sparse. So I got two so I can put them together and open them up and decorate them and put a bow. It's for the, um, the side of my cubicle. So I need something smallish. So I have this, I'll just fluff it and then probably like wire or zip tie them together to make one decent wreath. One, because I'm not gonna put a lot of decorations on it, but I did get lights. So they have them in 15 inch and 18 inch. Or we can make a Mickey Mouse wreath. If you take two of these and a big one, or you can make a snowman with one this size and the bigger one. There's a lot you can do with these little wreaths. And then you just, you know, fluff them up. Or you can honestly add um, the garland stick picks around it to fluff it up, just like you would one of the trees. Um, I found another cup. Oh, North Pole Bed and Breakfast, hot cocoa served here. And I love that these aren't all like, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, you know what I mean? Like they are definitely just winter season, which is perfect for what I would like them for. Um, yeah, so now I have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, five down here. Technically six, but that little snowman is mine and I'm not sharing. I'll just take it and put it on my desk at work. Oh, wait, I got one more. Yeah, I definitely have enough. Uh, oh, this one. Hot cocoa served here. Look, again, with the same thing. So I have a lot of mugs. I, I, I might have too many, because I know I have some upstairs. I mean, can you have too many? No. Um, to hang in my department for next year, I grabbed a calendar and it's Mr. Potato Head. Um, I'm just going to hang it on the wall every month just because it's fun. Really no other reason than that. But you get all these Mr. Potato Heads on each page. And I was like, this is awesome. This is my generation. These are definitely the people on my team are going to appreciate Mr. Potato Head. And we needed a new calendar for next year, so I bought it. Um, okay, this is from the dollar uh the plus section as well these are inflatable ornaments and they're big it says you get a set of three and they're 15 by 12 inches these are big and i'm gonna hang these outside on my front porch and they are just inflatables which i think is fantastic because yeah, and they were $5, and you get three. Like I said, I could also hang them in here. Ugh, sorry, no. Inside my window around my Christmas tree. I'm putting my Christmas tree this year in the bay window. So I bought a four-foot Christmas tree. I think it's four foot. Is it sitting right here? I just bought it. Yeah, a four-foot Indiana pine Christmas tree. And I will tell you, if you want a different tree, hit Walmart because they come in white and black. I don't need white or black, I needed green. And they're pre-lit and they were $30. So 
it's perfect for what I need. Um, if I put up my large tree, I lose, I lose a whole seating area, which if it's just me for the holidays, I don't care. Um, but my family's coming and I don't want to give up an extra chair and seating area. So I figure I'll just put the tree where it's in nobody's way and it's in the bay window. And it'll look beautiful from outside. That's my plan. Um, for my wreaths at work, I don't know if I want to do color. I'm not a huge fan of color, but if I'm not decorating it, I might be. So I grabbed a string of white and a string of colored because, yeah. And you get 20 lights and it's perfect for just plugging in my little wreath that will hang on the outside of my cubicle. Those are definitely not new, um, for sure. Um... Oh, these I think might be new, maybe not. But it's like the little sedan with this on top with the tree. And I do have um, oil-based markers that I want to try using to like color instead of painting. So I grabbed this pack of those. I've got a ton of these ornaments, so I did, definitely did not need a lot. But I thought that's interesting. I got these. I love colored pencils. And these are um skin tone and they have four different skin tones which i freaking love and they're colored pencil and they're mechanical so these will go great with my um when i color my coloring book i run the holidays i love watching a christmas movie and coloring in some pages and i'm super happy to have different skin tones to represent different people because I might be here, but Christmas is not all about here. It's all about here in my world. And so I want everybody represented. So I grabbed that. Um, do I have more ornaments, maybe? Oh, this is definitely, definitely new to me. Again, it's a gnome. And I want to try coloring it with my markers if I find time. So that's all that I should be buying of the wooden ornaments. Um, I did buy this to... I think I want to rip it apart and do something. I love this white. It's fur. And I don't hate this, so we'll see. But, you know, maybe I'll do something different with it. Honestly, if I did a cross stitch of, like, a snowman, it would be fun to frame it in here. But it was something different, and I hadn't seen this before. So I grabbed that for sure. I'm just trying to keep my space clean here, guys. I got a mess going on. Not too terribly much. This is definitely something new. It's a coaster. And I mean, I need this in my life. Everybody needs this in their life. Like what? It's a light up coaster. I, I, I just think it's freaking amazing. And I love coasters and you know, I bought it. And that's how I roll. And this is what the packaging looks like. Honestly, I think this would be a fan. Oh, let me hold on. A fantastic stocking stuffer, if you ask me. And that's what it looks like in the packaging. And it was just up on the register. Um, ugh, just a couple more things. Ugh, my foot. I have a bag that I took this time to the Dollar Tree. Okay, so the last things I got, um, I grabbed these, and I don't, this is Candy Cane Swirl Lip Balm. I know, right? And it has pom-poms, and I love peppermint lip balm, and that just looks fun. So I grabbed that because, well, I need that in my life. Um, now these two things are pottery related. I grabbed another pack of these little makeup, um, sponges, but I'm going to put this in my pottery thing for little touch-ups and little cleanup and little smooth things. Like sometimes you just need a little something to clean up your clay. And I thought these are perfect for that. And you get four, I can just wash them off and stick them back in this little plastic deal. And for cleaning up my pottery after I've done it. And my when my car was broken into, they took all my pottery tools. So now I'm kind of replacing things. So I grabbed that, thought it would be super fun. 
Um, and then the other thing I got for pottery were some paint brushes. My studio has paint brushes, but they don't have such great paint brushes. Like it's time to replace them. So I just grabbed two packs of these, like that little tiny, where is it at? This little tiny detail brush right here is gonna be perfect. And then for full covering. So I just grabbed a couple just to throw in my kit. So when we're doing under glazing, I will have paint brushes dedicated strictly to pottery. Mostly because I wouldn't want to use it again in my crafting because you get that clay in there and sometimes it doesn't always come out. And then I found these and I think they're fantastic. This is like a felt material, but it's molded. Think like the inside of your car. And it's just a de it's felt desk tray and it came with this size. I grabbed two of these little ones and then one big one. And I'm probably going to put these on my craft table to sort the things that I use on the regular, like in, you know, scissors and clips and glues and things like that. And this can just sit out on my craft surface or I can put it in my desk drawer either way. But I thought also if you're gifting somebody like a planner or any type of office supplies for Christmas, this would be awesome to go with it. And it's not that expensive, but it's nice quality. Like it doesn't look cheap in person. And I think this is great. And the whole set would be four, five dollars, $5.25, $5 for this whole set, which is definitely reasonably priced. I should probably put my mugs in, a, in here so they don't get gross, but they do need to go through the dishwasher. So that, friends, is everything I got at the Dollar Tree this week. I hope you enjoy. Um, if you did, go ahead and like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload a video. And I will talk with you later. And go Bucks! Bye!